welcome back to my channel everyone. Hi, my name is Ronnie. Today we're going to make these little booties. These are bunny booties. Has a little tail and everything. <coughs> these are 12 month, 12 month old baby booties. This goes with the set. I've already done the hat and the diaper cover. Now it's time to do the shoes. So what will you need to make these cute little booties? Well, first off, you'll need your color choice of yarn. In this video, I'll be using blue. You will also need some fluffy yarn. Set those aside. You will need a glue gun. And along with the glue gun, you'll need two little pom-poms. Or you can make your pom-poms. You'll also need a pair of scissors. A five millimeter hook, well I'm using a five millimeter hook because my stitches are tight but if you have big stitches I suggest you use a four millimeter hook and you will also need a darning needle. I would like to apologize right now if you hear noise in the background. That's my daughter playing games and she can get really loud. So I do apologize in advance. So get your hook ready and your main color and we'll get started. Okay, first we need to start off with the slip knot. And chain 15. One, six, seven. I would like to say in this video, I am going to show you how to make both the girl shoes and the boy shoes. Okay, now we need to make three double crochets in the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. Now you need to place one double crochet in each stitch down your chain. And once I get mine done, I'll be back. Okay, I've made it down my chain. <clears throat> I have one stitch left. We're going to place six double crochets in that last chain. Whoops.
Now working back up the other side, we're going to place one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. <clears throat> Once I get up to my last stitch, I'll be back. You should have one stitch left and we're going to place three double crochets in that last stitch. Then we're going to slip stitch to our first double crochet. Chain one. Starting in this first stitch where you slip stitched, we're going to place two half a double crochets. And then we're going to place two half a double crochets in the next two stitches. We're going to place one half a double in the next six stitches. We're going to place one double crochet. In the next three stitches. Now we need to place two double crochets in each of the next ten stitches. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Place one double crochet in the next three stitches. Place one half a double crochet in the next six stitches. Place two half a double crochets in the next three stitches. Then slip stitch to the first 
half a double crochet. And this is what you should have so far. Row three. We're going to chain one. Chain one does not count as a stitch. In that very first place, we're going to place one double crochet in the back loop only. And then you're going to place one double crochet in the back loop only and every stitch around. Once you get to the end, place a slip stitch into that first double crochet. Once I get all the way around, I will return. And we'll go from there. I'll be back. Okay, I've made it to the end and I'm going to slip stitch into the beginning of that first double crochet. And this is what you should have so far. Yes, it looks a little big and yes, it looks wonky, but but we'll be okay. Round four, chain one, and then double crochet in that same stitch. Now you need to place one double crochet in both loops. We're done with the back loops. One double crochet in the next 19 stitches. Once I get my 19 stitches done, I'll return. All right, I got my 19 stitches done. If you want to, you can start turning your booties the way they're supposed to be. And be like this. So now we're going to place, we're going to do a double crochet two together seven times. So yarn over, go through your stitch, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two stitches, two loops, and stop. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, and go through the rest of the three. I'll do that one more time with you. Yarn over, go through the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over, go through three loops. You need to do that five more times. seven. Now you need to place one double crochet in the last 18 stitches. And once I get mine done, I'll be back. All right, 
right, I've made it to the end, and I'm just going to slip stitch into the beginning double crochet. And this is what you should have so far. Round five, chain one and double crochet in that same spot. <clears throat> then we're going to do one double crochet, two together. Then we're going to place one double crochet in the next three stitches. One half a double in the next stitch. Then one single crochet in the next 11 stitches. And I'll meet you back here when I'm done. I had told you to single crochet. One, one single crochet in the next 11 stitches. I am so sorry. It's one single crochet in the next nine. And once you have your nine stitches done, we need to do a double crochet, two together, five times. So, one. Two. three, four, and five. Now I need a single crochet, one single crochet, in the next 10 stitches. One half a double in the next stitch. Three double, one double crochet in the next three stitches. And a one, and one double, two together in the last two stitches. One double crochet two together in the last two stitches. Slip stitch to your first double crochet. If you are working, if you are making the girl shoes, this is what you should have. And you can fasten off your blue yarn and we'll finish it in a minute. <clears throat> and now we're going to finish the blue. Now we're going to finish the boy's shoe. Good grief. Going to chain one. And place one double crochet in that first stitch. Then we're going to do one double crochet, two together. One double crochet in the next two stitches. One half a double crochet.
one single crochet in the next 10 stitches. When I get my 10 stitches done, I'll return. Now we're going to do three double crochet two together. One, two, and three. One single crochet and the next nine stitches. One half a double in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next two stitches. And then one double crochet two together. Slip stitch into your first double crochet. And chain one. Now we're going to place one half a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Once you get to the end, <clears throat> slip stitch into your first half a double crochet and fasten off and you can weave in your ends. Once mine is done, then I'll be back and we'll move on. Okay, this is what the boy's shoe should look like. So get your fluffy yarn out. Make a slip knot. I just add it where I left off. And all we're going to do for this round is we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around with the fluffy yarn. Sorry about that, I messed up. And I'm going to weave over my crochet over my tail so I don't have to weave it in. So just place one single crochet in each stitch around. And this is for the girl and boy shoe. Once I get this row done, I'll be back. Once you make it to the end, slip stitch into your first single crochet. Weave in your end and fasten off. Fasten off and weave in your end. Then we'll move on to the ears. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, what's your main color yarn we're going to make a slip knot we're making the ears now and you're going to chain seven in the second chain from the hook we're going to place a single crochet and we're going to place a single crochet down the row until we hit the last chain. And 
In the last chain, we're going to place three single crochets. And then <clears throat> we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch back down the other side. Once you get to the end, chain one and fasten off. I'm going to go ahead and weave this end in and I'll be back in a minute. So far this is what your ears should look like. Now you need to get your fluffy yarn out. Make a slip knot. <clears throat> Place it anywhere on your ear. And make a single crochet. Then you're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. Sorry about that, I messed up. On the last stitch on this side, we're going to place two single crochets to turn the corner. Then I place a single crochet in the middle. I'm on the bottom now. And then I single crochet into the very first single crochet. And then I slip stitch into that single crochet chain one and fasten off. Do leave a long tail because we're going to sew them on the shoe next. So weave in any end you have and get your shoes out. You will need to make three more of these little ears, four in total for your two shoes. I'll be right back. All right, time to sew these on the shoe. This is pretty easy. You find the front of the shoe. And you measure out where your ears are going to go. I sew it on. the first row of half a double crochets. And all I do is stick my hook in and then bring it back out. And then go back in again and come back out. And go 
go back in. Then where the fluffy yarn is, I just like weave. I go underneath the stitches there so I come out the other side so it's not seen. And then I go in the, into the ear. And now I'm just going to make small stitches in and out between both of the ear and the shoe and sew it on the rest of the way around. And when I think it's ready, it's all sewn on pretty good, then I turn my booty around and I go in, in the shoe, but in between the shoe and the ear, and then I'm going to make a knot. I make a knot twice. Then I turn out the shoe and I find a few stitches and I'll weave in my ear or my tail. I'm sorry. And there's your first ear sewn on. So I'm going to sew on my other ear, and I'm going to do it off camera and let you do your ears too. And I'll be back when my ears are on. Okay, so now I'm done with that. It's time to glue the little bunny tail on. And I hot glue mine. I just take it. And place a little dab of hot glue on there. And then I find the middle of the back shoe and I just place it on there. And then I hold it there for a little bit until it sucks on to there and dries a little bit, cools a little bit. So sorry about that. And there you have it. Zoom back out. And here are your boy bunny shoots. Or your little girl bunny shoots. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please, sus, please consider su subscribing. Sorry, that was a tongue twister. I got my tongue all messed up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching my video and crocheting along with me today. Until next time, please be safe out there. Bye.